we'll see what Emba's able to do. You know, obviously sticking with this character in a, a meta full of demons, like literally Kazuya. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it could be tough to stick with the old guard of top tiers. Yes, very true. And Jackie also a hitbox player as well, too. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Rock's Maybe hitbox. he switched after I played him, but I don't remember him having one. Yeah, picked up, picked up Hitbox for a bunch of the other fighting games, too, and it seems to have transitioned over in Smash as well. But this transition into advantage does not seem to be happening either. Emba is taking a great lead here, too. Jackie's still putting some work out, putting some hits in, but this percentage deficit is building. Trying to come down with the pill. At the very least, open up some safe pressure, and if it hits, you can get a free confirm. The bounce, once you get hit by one of those, it's much different than Mario's. Let's yeah. put it that way. It can combo into a ton of stuff for Don. That said, we're not going to see it yet. It's looking like Emba is off to a great start here. Switching back to Squirtle just for that low percent damage. Switching to Ivysaur to dodge the pill, perhaps. Or just to switch to Ivysaur. Or both. Real. The range might also be helpful, too. Dr. Mario, again, another stubby character. Those forward airs, those back airs can be hard to deal with, but just off the down throw. Jackie Peanuts taking a stock in this game. Not too much extra credit. There was some good strings coming in from Emba when there was the stock, uh, you know, change difference. Yeah, he is definitely so back. Let's put it that so way. So back. <laughs> oh no, it's Jover. You got narrowed out of shield. Uh, okay, wow. Even at the high mid percents like that, down throw to back air gonna convert on Doc. Catching the ledge roll. Emba looking so clean right now. Oh my god, that was the weirdest outer hitbox of the downer I've ever seen. So just sad and slow no. knockback. And speaking of sad and slow, Dr. Mario's recovery <laughs> fit in the bill right there as well. Off the spawn platform with some heat though, getting a hit immediately. But sticking on the Squirtle, just being able to outmaneuver Dr. Mario so, so effortlessly. The character glides and moves and, you know, Jackie Penis is kind of left whiffing it air. The parry on the withdraw too. That's some like... That's some nerd stuff right there. I'll be <laughs> honest, you're a nerd, Jackie. Who goes for that? A feedback. Oh. oh, I thought there was a down tilt coming. Yeah, I'm kind of scared for Jackie right there. He didn't sweet spot the ledge with the up B, I guess, just due to the arc that he was uh, at before he used the Ooh, move. Oh, I'm my not gonna God. Find it. Yeah, pill into down B, some dangerous stuff. Ivysaur, notably worse disadvantage than Squirtle and honestly, maybe even Charizard because you don't have a third jump. Kind of just a sitting duck when you get popped up, but unable to turn it into anything crazy. And we're going to see Emba go ahead and take that game one quite handily, but not, like, destroying it. Right, right, right. And also the SD coming in from Jackie was unfortunate. <laughs> and definitely sitting duck is Jackie Peanuts and Dr. Mario just in the air. The character can kind of has to flail around to get down and can take tons of damage for it. Oh, the um, back head of the up air. Just, I'm a Tipman appreciator, honestly, whether it's Ganon, Falcon, any variant of Mario and his brothers. I love yep. the way they chain together. Too, da too damn cool. Yeah, that's true. Okay, small battlefield. Small Pokemon Stadium 2 for <laughs> game two here. And SPS 2? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, uh, you agree to SPS 2? Oh yeah, PS2. No, 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 no. No, the small one. Down smash, able to cover that roll on. Jackie's gotten caught for a roll twice now. First game died to that up smash from Charizard. But I do see the game plan kind of coming together here, too. Squirtle is just sticking around here, too. A problem Jackie Penis cannot seem to get rid of. Yeah, I like Emba sticking on Squirtle, too, right? Like, if you are able to get that missed tech from your opponent, Squirtle does not lack kill power. Jab reset into forward smash and down smash, very, very strong moves. So if you're confident enough that you can set that up, no reason to deviate to the two with the lesser neutral game, right? Just yeah. have the best options at your disposal, and if your opponent gives you that chance, then take it. Pill coming in on the platform, looking for the shield drop on Uppy. That move is so strong, but not going to find its mark. Oh, what a dash grab in. Looking for the landing option, not going to find up there. Oh, and the pill into up B. Okay, Jackie starting to get some things together once again. Very similar lead that we saw last game. Oh my god, the back throw bear. It's such a weird DI mix-up because you're thinking, I want a DI away from a throw that will combo me going forward, but that's actually the wrong DI for back throw. And then you get paired. Didn't die directly to it, but just unable to Set make up it back. Situation, yeah. Yep. He'll chase down here and gonna dash up for the grab on neutral kid up, but the roll in was a great choice from Emba. And still smothering here too. Fortner coming down. Jackie wins the trade. Setting these pills up at the ledge as well. But Ivysaur, of course, good to make it back from pretty much anywhere. Fine with being a huge tether. Now Jackie once again with the edge guard opportunity, Ooh. trying to find down B on the ledge trap. Doesn't work out though. Now it's still just 
about the same amount of work to do if he takes the stock right now. But Emba, as he builds this extra credit, it just slips further and further away from Jackie. Fair to up B, yup. One more of those and you might be dead. Jumping away here too. What's the ledge trap? They have not been super successful, but Jackie keeps this one going. What's the ledge Ooh. pressure? Oh, looking for the up smash on the landing, but one of Charizard's saving graces is that he does have that third jump. He's able to vary his timing so much uh -oh. because of it. Should we go for back throw here too? Doesn't want to waste the throw for the platform. We're good. Oh wow. my goodness. The angle down forward tilt, clipping at the ledge there. And of course, Jackie with a ton of percent, gonna have less ledge grab invincibility. Doesn't have the luxury to wait there and think about his option as he might have at zero, for example. Mm -hmm. Really good showing here, too. The Pokemon trainer seems to be really strong this weekend, too. I was like watching some Beast gameplay yesterday. Mm. That was looking super strong. And Emba, that's Squirtle, absolutely cruising to a solid win over Jackie Peanuts. Yeah, I would say Emba's best Mon was his Squirtle for yes, sure. He free. was looking great, and that's a good title to have, right? Because if you start things off on the right foot in fighting games, you're often going to be able to turn that into a win, right? Getting a lead is just so, so important, and you could see the value of it right there, courtesy of Emba's Squirtle. Jackie, on the other hand, he's still obviously got a shot in the loser's bracket. Doc is one of those matchups where you might not be prepared for it, and if you're not, you could make some serious results happen. Exactly. It's <laughs> rare that we get a dock run out of Major, but Jackie, I want you to be the one to carry the torch. Do it for us, please. We got Bacon in the or house, bacon too. too. Bacon yeah. in the house. Bacon could definitely so do it. So sick. Oh, my goodness. But it has been so much fun, my friends. This event is going off beautifully, but it wouldn't be possible without our beautiful sponsors. The SmashCon control.